Welcome to Eurogamer 2019. Yes, mate. Who loves games? Yes, mate. So this year is amazing because Eurogame has finally come back down to London. I've been waiting years to be able to go to the EGX main four day event again. Been waiting a long time for it. So the hype guys is real. First reaction of going into Eurogamer and seeing what's there, uh, seeing it in the booklet, it just didn't feel to me that there was as many games there that there has been in previous Eurogamers. Now what I think it is, is we're kind of at an end period of the PS4, maybe next year's when it comes to PS5 there's going to be loads new news and a load more things that we haven't seen. But it's the big hitters that most of us go there for and um, I think some of them were worth the wait. So I've got my wristband to go and see the cyberpunk briefing later today. Um, the gameplay and trailers released so far are awesome. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, finding out more and um, what special exclusive information we're going to get on that here at Eurogamer today. Cyberpunk, the, the briefing was incredible. It was about 45 minutes of seeing a demo played through, being talked through, really well done. Great atmosphere, great sound. I'm loving what I'm seeing with this game so far. This is my first hands-on with a Switch Lite. It's actually a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, but Luigi's Mansion 3 is looking awesome on this, so I'm gonna give this a try. Yes, mate. So guys, I just saw the Death Stranding video and oh yes, I am now really, really feeling the game. I didn't really know what to expect of it because I've seen a few little video clips and nothing had really pulled me in. But seeing Hideo Kojima's full video showing off the gameplay, how you get to detect the different creatures in the other dimension, um, it's just awesome. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's, it's really got that RPG feel, but seeing some of the survival and escape bits as well, it's made the game um, have that whole kind of battle element to it. Um, I really like it. Um, I'm really looking forward to finding out a lot more about the game. So we're up there for two days this year, and I was hoping that was enough time to cram it all in. I can confirm it was. Because one of the things with Eurogamer guys is queues. You spend a lot of your day queuing to get into something or to get a wristband for something. Um, you're, you're talking 10 to 12 hours on your feet for one day there. And you might only actually get in, see a few demos, get hands on with a couple of things. If you're really into the really awesome indie developed games, you come all wander freely around to see them. Join a one or two man queue, get on the game, so you've got a good variety and balance. Every day for the win I'm blinded by that light so bad that I can barely stand I've been up all night again playing Super Bomber Man Toast overtook me but he sure ain't gonna win Cause I got muscles in a cup with a banana skin It's like Fox Line at Wars Get the Arvings up in flight We'll save Corneria from Andros every single night 
in your city in F0 Every day I used to think I was a snares hero It's a link to my past now when I think back to school Where I'm lost in a world like the woods in Hyrule I'm lost in Hyrule Lost in Hyrule. Getting a pipe on some more monster, yes, mate. It's day two. I didn't even make it till 5 pm. I'm absolutely exhausted. My legs are fine. I've done so much walking. My feet are actually fine, which is strange, but. My lower back is hurting in places I didn't know I could ever hurt. So it's time for some food, maybe another beer, and then it's time to go home. Yes, mate. It's loud on the tube. It's loud on the tube. Hope you guys enjoy this footage let me know down in the comments what you want to see more of and you never know i might even make another future gaming news video um, because gas loves games